Hello, in this video we're going to prove Kepler's third law of planetary motion. The law states that the square of the orbital period of a planet is directly proportional to the cube of the radius of its orbit. Given by tau squared is proportional to r cubed, where tau is the orbital period. Okay, so Kepler's formulation was very general, but we'll work it out only for circular orbits, okay? There are a number of ways we can do this, but the simplest is just to use Newton's law F equals ma, okay? So the force on the orbiting Earth, for instance, is just the gravitational force whose magnitude is F is equal to minus g big M times little m divided by the radius squared, okay? So, that is, of course, a very famous equation where g is our gravitational constant. Now, what is our acceleration? We should know from mechanics that our acceleration is equal to omega squared r, where omega is our angular velocity. By knowing that, we can therefore write g m m divided by r squared is equal to your mass times your acceleration, because f equals ma, your acceleration is omega squared r. Right, so, if we multiply both sides by 1 over m, we can see that the m's will cancel, and if we multiply both sides by 1 over r, we can see that this r disappears, and this r squared becomes r cubed, okay? So therefore, we get g m divided by r cubed is equal to omega squared, alright? And therefore, we get omega is equal to the square root of g m over r cubed, okay? That is our angular velocity. Okay, so we know that um, our orbital period, tau, okay, I'll write it here, tau is equal to 2 pi divided by omega, yeah, okay, that is another simple uh, mechanics equation. So therefore, our tau is equal to 2 pi divided by omega, where well, omega is the square root of gm divided by r cubed. Now, if we square both sides, we get that tau squared is equal to 2 pi squared, which is just 4 pi squared. Okay, we undo the square root by squaring both sides, and we can see that the r cubed will just come to the top. So we get 4 pi, r, uh, 4 pi squared divided by gm multiplied by r cubed, like so. Okay, and that is our equation. Our tau squared is equal to 4 pi squared divided by gm times r cubed. I'll go through that again. Remember, we squared our orbital period. That gave us... 4 pi squared divided by gm divided by r cubed. Okay, this is a complex fraction. We bring the r cubed up to the top and we get 4 pi squared divided by gm times r cubed. Okay, just by knowing f equals minus gmm divided by r squared, acceleration equals omega squared r, and tau equals 2 pi over omega. And now we should see from this that tau squared is proportional to r cubed, okay? Because 4 pi squared over gm is just a constant, the constant of proportionality. Tau squared is proportional to r cubed. And that is the proof for Kepler's third law of planetary motion. And in this case, it's just looking at 
circular orbits. In other words, orbits with an eccentricity of zero. Okay, see you in the next video.